MS. To me, just yanks the rug from under your feet. And one of the many things, you got a job. I mean, what does it mean to you? You're relatively newly diagnosed, aren't you? Yeah, I was diagnosed last August. I think the main thing for me was when I was on, when I got my diagnosis, I was actually working shift work. And that for me was just havoc. And I remember I was in hospital at the time and one of the neurologists had said to me, what type of work do you do? What kind of errors do you do? And when I told her I was doing shift work, she was like, that's pretty detrimental for your health at the moment. Um, and she strongly recommended that I went on to a day's role. So like a Monday to Friday, nine to five, just because with the lack of sleep that you get on shift, it would be, your body would just be under stress. You're much smarter than me because when I was, <laughs> up, I was, when I was 24, I, I uh, just ignored it. There were no drugs anyway, but it was like, yeah. you're a bloke, you're hiding things, you don't, I mean, really, that's a codified way of saying, don't know how to talk about this, so there's an easy way, and that's not make a big thing out of it. And also, you know, the law and attitudes were slightly different, but I ended up with a job traveling. I mean, I went to 35 countries, and, you know, in two or three years, and it's just jet lag, and you're just so yeah. like, and you're trying to fight it, and you, you don't want to acknowledge that it's your MS. Yeah. But it is. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, some of it is. You've done the right thing, in my view. You know, I'm kind of jealous if I could wind the clock back. I, I do it differently. But did your employer, what were they like? I mean, have you told them? Yes. I, because I was very unwell with my first relapse. So it was an acute relapse. So I had to go into hospital and get steroids. Right. So I was actually out for about two months. So it was oh, okay. very obvious that there was something quite serious going on. Um, and for me, like, it was, it was important to share what I was going through. Because um, initially, we didn't know what it was because I only had one lesion at the time. So I couldn't really say I had MS. Even at that, like, I wanted people to know the severity of what I had experienced. So for me, yeah, 100%, I had told the people that I worked with straight away just right. to one, bring awareness, and two, to share it just so that they knew what I was going through. Oh, I, I, I completely get you. And the other thing is, I, and I only made this discovery earlier today, believe it or not, you know when you think you're fine and you think you're hiding it? So I had yeah. shot some video, and there was me walking in the camera, and I'm thinking, that's not a good-looking walk. <laughs> you know, that that's me just, you know, in my head, nobody will see. Uh, and... I've got to go and ask my wife and say, do I look like that when I walk around? If you're interested in finding out more about MS, why not subscribe for more of our videos?